Hey Fred, do you have a couple minutes to review some of the Yelp reviews we've gotten over the last couple of weeks? Of course, Betty, come on in. Well, we've received several positive reviews about Wilma. Wilma has a 100% satisfaction rate. Her customers are recommending her to other customers, and your custom base on the maid side of the business is growing quite rapidly. That girl's got some talent. That's great. She's a fantastic employee. Very self-motivated and obviously takes a lot of pride in her work. We should consider some sort of bonus incentive to commend her for a job well done. I agree. I think adding some incentive will help us with our next discussion. Barney. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. What's going on? Well, Barney's reviews have been less than stellar. I did some analysis. We've lost a few customers due to Barney's lack of attention to detail. Barney brought a few of his long-term customers to the table at the start of the business. A few of them have mentioned that it seems like he's lost his passion for what he does. I know Barney is capable of amazing work. We just need to get him re-motivated to do what he does best. Well, that's not good. That doesn't live up to the standards or goals I set for this company. From the beginning, let's implement the bonus program. We'll provide quarterly bonuses based on positive reviews. Money is always a great tool to motivate employees. Hopefully, they can get to Barney back to producing quality gardens. I think that's a great idea. I will write up the company process and get it rolled out to the team by the end of the week. We'll monitor things closely for a few months and see if we can get everything back on track. I think this will help Bam Bam too. He's got several customer callbacks for the things to be re-repaired. I'd like to see that number reduced. It's a lot of waste of time we could be using to service other customers. 